two guys have done a fabulous job to talk radio. Kudos to both. Thank you. You guys have really made this a, a fun way to wake up, and I've enjoyed listening to both of you, and I will dearly miss you. And needless to say, you're just a shout away, and good luck to you in the future. I just wanted to, I know it's been a lot of fun and games with Chuck, but there was uh, one thing I'd like to comment about uh, Chuck's performance during the uh, so if the Superstore tragedy, he was, like, awesome. The uh, broadcast he did, awesome. If I could give him an award, I would. It was just the best broadcast of any radio and TV show in Charleston. One thing I really want to say, but, uh, you know, everybody commented on the, the fire and everything. Mm-hmm. Right. done a great job. Real quick before I leave is one thing that I'm really going to miss is Chuck Taylor's laugh. Your laugh <laughs> makes me laugh. So Chuck, what a ripe time with this we're going on now, the political Thing. You could be a uh, comedian doing political satire. You would make you would make a killing. Oh, I tell you, I'm just uh, <laughs> tore up about all this. <laughs> um, I wanted to know if uh, now I'm being serious here. Yeah. The p- possibility of you doing a podcast on the internet because we really enjoy your comments and your views and how you uh, you know uh, stuck up for people. Chuck, there's a job slot for you. You have some dead time on WTMA in the evening. You got some little vertically challenged guy there move him out for maybe an hour or two and let's put chuck taylor there come I, on community let's rally behind chuck chuck yes i know what you're going to be doing buddy what's that i'm going to let the cat out the bag chuck you know what you told me last week you're going to go working for hillary clinton you know it. you know what's going to happen you're going to be a lobbyist for the liberals come on over buddy we're glad to have chuck i'm just calling to tell you man i've enjoyed you these past two years you're my buddy in liberalism. I'm going to have to fight this fast right-wing conspiracy by myself from here on out. I just want to let Chuck know there's been a change of plans for the party this afternoon. Uh, <laughs> we can't get the 75-year-old 300-pound uh, lady stripper, so they're going <laughs> to... They come uh, cheaper that way, by the way. Uh, but, of course, I had to call because, you know, it's the talk of the newsroom this morning. Oh, wow. Everybody's kind of sad to see you go, Aww. but we hear that you're going to just be hanging out. <laughs> It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life.